What's up, YouTube? It's the Kid Rad Beezy, and you're tuning into Radical TV. Before we get started, smash that notification bell, hit that like button, and let's dive in it. <coughs> I gotta work on that. Today's video is a Kevin Samuels reaction, and it's titled, Are Modern Women Homeworkers? Let's go. Like, I've, I've always had the, I want to be the housewife mentality. Okay. But being that, you know, my huh? dad died when I was nine. Whoa, 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 whoa. So. How can you be the housewife with three kids by three different men? No, no. I was saying before the children. Okay. You, what you said about Before the children. I've, yeah, like, I've always wanted to, I've always Imagine myself as the housewife. Okay. Like so I've I, always so wanted. So I got to ask. Um, okay. I know when you close your eyes, then maybe we imagine. What I got to ask is, why did you accept being the baby mama then? At the time, I didn't think I was just going to be a baby mama. But you knew you like, weren't. I, you knew I you were not legally. Don't. You knew what? You knew you were not what? legally married. Yeah. So you knew you were going uh, to be a baby mama because you knew you were not legally married. Right. Have some accountability, mama. So we kind of stopped that. That that. That's why this home record stuff. We got to stop that. Oh yeah, trust me, I know. Like well, I've, I'm, I'm not. So, even but when you come here and saying that you don't understand why women do this, 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 and I'm like, women are going to ask, who are you to say this? And it's kind of hard to hear because I've from. done it myself. Like we don't, we don't want to hear okay. the harsh reality, but we. What, what, you, what you did not say is women like myself. You didn't include yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I that's why I'm asking. Because you. you came at it like, yeah. hey, I don't understand why women don't do this. And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. the women are going to yeah, ask, why are you myself. saying that? Like, okay. I, All right, cool. Go ahead. I, I hate that it took me so long to right. realize it. All right. At what age did you say this all started to make sense? Um, I would say right before I hit 30. No. Can't. You're 40. Right. I know. How old is your youngest kid? 15. But if it's made sense at 30, why are you not? Okay. Because at that point, it was more of a factor of, okay, I'm going to be 30. Uh -huh. I have three children. True. By three different people. Right. Now I need to find someone who would be willing to accept me and the children. True. Like yeah. to take on that responsibility. Right. Or and at the time, like and how many even people then, have you waited in the last ten years? The last ten years, I would mm -hmm. say about three people. Three people. Okay. And have all those people been willing to take on those responsibilities? My current relationship, yes. Okay. And how long? Okay. So, one thing that I, the women tend to do is even when you know what you should be doing, you do what you like. Right. So, at 30, if you know, it all kind of started to make sense. If only one out of the two, out of the three relationships, then why have the other two? Why not just work on improving yourself and being the best version of yourself? Why go through those situations if those men aren't willing to take on those responsibilities? Because to men, mm -hmm. that just kind, that, cause to men, that just kind of equates to more mileage and more potential damage. So that is one hundred percent true, right there. So I, we got to see her face, Mama. I, I like to talk to her. So, while she's staring off in space right there, uh, yes, that's very, very true. See, when you realize that 10 years prior to today, and you wasn't going ahead and start trying to make that move then, you just acquired a lot more damage. And we know how women do. Women make the next man pay for the last man. We pay for the male, we pay for the lack of male figures that y'all have in y'all lives. So, so when you take on two, three more toxic relationships and you 
not go about it in the right ways that you said yourself, oh, I saw the light at 30. But I just kept staring at it for the last 10 years. No. Because when you tell a man that who may be interested in you and may be the type of man that you actually want and desire and need that will complete you, and you tell him, yeah, I saw the light at 30, and he's like, but you 40? Well, hold on, hold on, mama. What the hell was you doing over there just staring? No, no, because that's not building to men. That's counterproductivity because you're stagnant. And that's more mileage and, and, and more mileage of damage, not productivity. And judging from your past, three kids before that time, you know, three different guys. Was you up to those same type of decision making during that 10 year period? And that's the home wrecking thing that he's kind of highlighting here. That's the meaning of it. Because why? She's going to, she, she still had the mentality, I always wanted to be a housewife at the beginning. With three different kids by three different men. Come on, man. That's the fairy tale if you end up being a housewife. You wrecked your own home. You had kids before you had a home. Your kids wasn't born into a home. Your kids was born into three different situations. And then you want to go out and seek a home. So you wrecked the home before you even got the started. But let's keep on going. Very true. Very true. And that, and that was that was a fear of mine. Like in every new relationship that I started. So what would you tell young ladies be, that are in their late late teens, early twenties, just now? starting to come into their womanhood and know they want to be housewives or whatever, where would you, what advice would you give them? If you know you want to be a housewife, <laughs> you need to start learning how to not follow social media and all of these videos of, oh, he, I, I need somebody that has money or ready and he needs to take care of me before I do. Nope. The reality of it, nobody cares about that. Like, guys aren't going to tell you this. Like, even... Do you have any I, daughters? I'm, I'm, yes. How old, you, how, old your, how old are your daughters? One is going to be 22. One just turned 20. Uh, none of them have children, do they? My 20-year-old just had one. Oh, we were doing so good. Now the wheels just fell completely really? off. <laughs> we can't trust anything you said. Hell no. See this, I don't, I don't understand the, you, what? you ladies. Because it's like even no, no, even no, with my no, daughter, like I've been no. trying to. Let's just see what happened. Damn. Was she's twenty and twenty two. See, I'm going to go back into something I said earlier. Instead of trying to find a fix for you, uh, a man for you, maybe it's too young, man. No, I, I you stopped, know that. You know this to... is too much. You know she's no, I basically. I'm trying to do for me. Like I'm. But my my point is, to... man, it is I'm trying to be delicate ahead, about speak. this. I'm sorry. But a mother of three with three kids and to have a daughter at twenty with a kid who's not married. No one's going to, these women aren't going to listen to you because they're going to say you couldn't even keep your daughter. Right. Sure. So I don't understand if you really learn what you say you learn, your daughter. Because I, I feel like right now, um, at this point in my life, like I learned too slowly to, to start to implement that on my girls. So by the time but if you said you learned it at 30, your daughter, your youngest was 10. She hadn't even reached puberty yet. Yeah. But, but in those 10 I years, you had three relationships. Like, but in those 10 years, you had three relationships. And two with guys yeah. that didn't want to be stepfathers. 
right? Yeah. Did those men meet your daughter? One out of, well, two out of the three, yeah. So the current one and one of the other two? Yes, the previous one. But your daughter, see, what, you, what you've proven is the kids don't listen to what, they, what we say. They listen to what we do. If they see mama having one, two, three babies by three different men, dating men who don't want to be stepfathers, but just getting the man in here, and then you will even allow the man, one or the two or the three to meet her. Have you, have you had counseling? Yeah. How long ago? I would say three, four years ago. How long were you in it? Off and on for a couple of years. All right. So, so basically, no. And do your daughters live with you? See, and this this is one of the biggest problems with this lady. She still she's forty, but she has the mind of a teenager. She haven't grew up yet. She doesn't take any of these life real life issues serious at all. She doesn't take any accountability. She know she knows she wanted a home. She said herself, I always saw myself before the children that I wanted to be a housewife. And now I got pregnant. I didn't know I was going to be a baby mama. But you knew you wasn't married when you had it. So that was going to make you a baby mama. You just what you, you don't want to hold yourself accountable for things. You just keep doing things. You're doing, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing. But for what? What is it leading to? What are you doing it for? And, and then when you realize you stay at 30, I seen the lie. Oh, did you go to counseling? Uh, off and on, you know, off and on, four years, sometimes, this week, that week. Here and there, you know, I caught something. Sat in the back of the classroom. You're not serious about it. Not at all. Not at all. And your daughters, they realize that. <laughs> mom ain't serious about that. Man, she's just talking. You know how mom is when she says she want to do something. She really, it, she really, it really mattered to her. She go off and on for four years. She don't even do the shit. She don't complete it. They seeing it. Oh yeah, mama said that she. Here's what you got to do to be a housewife. Here's what I was gonna do. Well, she had three different kids by three different by three different dudes, and then she been with a man for like five or six years that want to be that. But you know, I don't know why that's not happening. Or why, like like you're not making sense. Let's dive back in. Yes. So you have a 20-year-old, a 22-year-old, and a 15-year-old son. And you have three children that live with you, and you have a 20-year-old that's pregnant. No, she just recently had the baby. He's where's three the, months. Where's the child? How old is the child's father? He's 20. <laughs> babies having babies. That was me. I did that too. What do you think your son's going to do? I'm nervous. She said, who? No. Oh, no, ma'am. Um, and how long I you been with him. this current man you're with? We've been together four years. Four years? Going on four years. Going on. No. It just turned five years. Oh, my God. Five years. Okay. Five, five years? years? So what are you, why, okay, you said you were the man who wants to be a stepfather. Why is he your husband? I don't know. We haven't really oh my discussed God. it. Ma'am, no, this is some bullshit. <laughs> this is a whole bunch of bullshit. You this is a mess. Because I was trying to it ride is. with you. I was trying to kind of try to make it look good. And now, now my antenna's starting to go off. This hey, is a mess. Calm down. Where's your, where's your, if he wants to be a, okay. Why would you get married? Hello, 
I'm, I don't think I'm worth it. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. And we're going to. Uh, all right. When uh, at the bottom, when you're this deep, you just need to stop digging. And the first person who's had to stop digging is you. So. I love you. Wherever. If you were not in therapy, you know you need to be in it. To deal with whatever issue, to work on whatever issue, because I can't, I can't address it. I'm not going to go any further. But mm. we're going to end it right here. We're going to end it right here. Gosh, final thoughts. Wow, this is a woo. This was a good one, y'all. You know, I kind of got choked up there at the end. Oh, this lady was very honest. Uh, very honest. It took a, it took a long time to get to this honest place. Um, a lot of this stuff, I feel the decisions that she was making, it obviously led, it led to her self-worth, what she felt about herself. So maybe even that would happen at the beginning when she had those three children by three different men. Maybe she was doing those type of actions based off of her self-worth or whatever. You know, she got with this man that actually wanted to be there and father her children, you know, and provide for her and be that man for her and love her that way. And he maybe even want to marry her, but you know what? She don't even, she feel that she's not even worth it or whatever. And um, so, yeah, this, if anybody's struggling with anything like this, man, you know, first thing, go go get help. Go through your five steps of grief um, and, and slow down, you know, take a couple steps back to take 10 steps forward, you know, know what you want. Know what that person is, you know, go out there and learn those things and do those things and come up with a day-to-day -day plan 